the Inuits say that scientists have awakened the curse of Franklin sunken ships, those who are familiar with the 2018 British historical series The Terror, then they would probably understand what kind of curse the title is talking about. For everyone else, we'll do a little retrospect on the subject. In 1845, a British expedition led by Sir John Franklin attempted with two ships, the Erebus and the Terror, to cross the frozen ocean in the Canadian Arctic archipelago in search of the Northwest Passage through the ice. From this great expedition, no one returned alive, and the two ships with a crew of 129 people disappeared without a trace, and it went down in history as the Lost Franklin Expedition, quote-unquote. Search teams managed to find only three graves on one of the islands, and the testimony of the local Aboriginal people called the Inuits. According to these accounts, both ships were struck in the ice, stuck in the ice near King William Island, and the last member of the expedition turned savage from hunger and cold, and then uh, cannibalism. They were later suspected of mass poisoning people with lead from canned meats. Franklin's lost expedition has been surrounded by many sad legends for more than a century, because of which it was also called the Cursed Expedition. In the TV series Terror, released in 2018, it combines this story with the appearance of a monster. The sailors of Erebus and Terror killed a fisherman of local Inuit tribe and then a mysterious monster appeared, the Toonback, similar to the hybrid of a polar bear and a man. And the monster hunts down the British who are trying to survive in the cold and ice and does away with them one by one. This was their curse, so the legend says. Let's get back to reality, though. In 2014, researchers finally managed to find the sunken ship Erebus off the coast of King William Island, and in 2016, the crew of the research vessel Martin Bergman found the well-preserved skein of terror, and now the inhabitants of the village located on the same island complain that the researchers have awakened the old curse. According to them, once the cursed ships were found and divers began to explore, people in their villages began to die off mysteriously. The inhabitants of this village are the direct descendants of the Inuit who saw the last members of the Franklin expedition. There are no other settlements on the island. The population of Joa Haven village is less than a thousand, and recently six people died from unknown reasons, now the Inuit blame those who disturbed the ashes of the dead sailors and caused a curse. Over the past two years, divers have made several dives on the ships trying to find various small objects. Quote, we are very superstitious people and we see the connection between these deaths and the sunken ships, end quote, said local resident Jacob Kimnick, whose brother and nephew died one after the other shortly after the ships were found. They were told that the divers were only interested in various things and no one would disturb the bones if they were found, but this seems to have had no success. When the locals learned that they had found the old sunken ship, the shamans performed the ritual for them to break the curse, quote unquote. Later, after people started dying in the village, the shamans performed a ritual in the area where the, terror was, the ship terror was found. But so far, no one knows if the deaths will stop or if it will be too late. Jacob Kinnick himself describes the words of his deceased mother, who believed that there are invisible creatures on the island. He said, my mother had said that in the place where these ships are, that we should be careful. It was mentioned that the whole island is inhabited by inhuman people, that is, ghosts of the dead sailors, which we cannot see and she always told me not to let them touch you." End quote. He says that he often feels a presence of something invisible when he travels with his friend near the sunken ships. He says, when you reach this place, you immediately start to feel something next to you. You don't see it with your eyes, but you feel it, he said. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel.
Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.